Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be advancing upon our previous video of creating Niagara Rain. So, you will probably need to watch that video first of creating the rain which you are seeing on screen here. And today, what we're going to be doing is creating these little particles. So, when it hits the floor, we're kind of having these splashbacks of the rain actually hitting the floor just so it adds that extra bit of detail for the player to see and for the player to look at. So, if we were to actually play the game, what you'll notice is, I pressed the wrong one first of all, what you'll notice is that as we're walking around we can see the rain hitting the floor here and it will obviously still work for being undercover, the rain will not be colliding here because obviously that's just coming in underneath where the kind of the wind is blowing it in. So this is what we're going to be going over in Crane today, so without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So this is actually really nice and easy to do, so we'll get right into it. So we're going to need to open up our rain and Niagara system which we created in the previous video again if you haven't seen that I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Once we're in here you should have something like this where essentially we just have our fountain emitter which we modified last time. What we want to do now is right click add emitter and we want to add the hanging particles like so and now this is going to have a look we want these little balls these little dots here. We obviously don't want them just spawning in the air as they currently are like this that obviously isn't how we want it. So what we're going to do is modify it. So really there's only a select few things which we need to change in here. The first thing we want to do is we want to make sure it spawns in the correct location. So not just flying up in the air, we want it to spawn where the rain actually hits the floor. So to do that, we're going to be using the collision we created in the previous video. On our hanging particles, we're going to go down to add event handler, press the plus here, select our event handler properties, change the source to be collision event. So when the rain collides with something, because that's then obviously hit the floor because it collides and kills there. Execution mode we want to be spawned particles and the spawn number we're going to set to be 1. Now here we have max events per frame. If you are kind of going on a lower end PC you might want to change this so there is a maximum amount of events that can happen per frame. So you can obviously mess about with that if you need to make it more efficient for you. Then we're going to add another event handler and this one you can see we can actually choose which one it is. So for this one we want receive if I could spell it correctly, receive collision event, as you can see here. And now for this one, we don't actually need to change anything else, but it is now going to be receiving the correct collision event. So now if we minimize this, you should see that these are now spawning where the rain is hitting the floor. So you could leave it there, that technically works. However, you notice there's a lot of things wrong with this. Firstly, the collision here is kind of hovering above the floor. Secondly, they're staying there permanently and moving about, which we obviously don't want and they're also still spawning up here. So let's change all of that now. Firstly, let's deal with them still spawning in the air as that's going to be the highest up on here. For that, we can just disable the spawn rate. Now, they're no longer spawning there because the spawn rate here is essentially kind of where the rain is spawning. So it's also where the rain splash is spawning. Then if we go on to initialize particle, we can change how long they're on the floor and where they are and all that good stuff. So the lifetime mode will keep as random, and the lifetime min and max is how long they're going to stay on the floor. So you'll notice the minimum amount of time they're on the floor for is 5 seconds. That's obviously not how Splash works. They are on the floor for a very very short amount of time because it's as soon as the rain hits, it splashes and it goes. So I'm going to set these to quite low values of let's say 0.1 and 0.3. I might have done it to 0.2 earlier, let's see. So we compile it, we'll see what that looks like. So if we go down you notice that that looks a lot better already, however it might be going a bit too quick for you. So what I might do is change it to 0.2 and 0.3. So let's have a look at that, and that looks a little bit better. That's what I'm going to go with. I want it to be nice and quick so it's not there for too long. You can obviously change this to get it to look how you want and be there for as long as you want, but that's how I want it to look. And again, the less it's there, the more efficient it will be for you. I also think these are a little bit too small, especially for the size of the rain I've chosen. So what I'm going to do is increase their size. So similarly to how we did it for the actual rain, we've got this, the spray site mode non-uniform, we're going to do the same thing here. So initialize particle on our hanging particulates, and the sprite size mode we want to be non-uniform, and the sprite size I'm going to set mine to 4 on the X and 4 on the Y. So it's still the correct size, it's still circular, but it is a bit bigger now. So if I minimize this, You'll notice that those are now a lot more prominent, they're a bit bigger, and that's how I want it to be. And again, you'll notice it is falling exactly where the rain is colliding. So this looks a lot better for me, I'm happy with this. 
However, the last thing I want to change is, again, you'll notice the collision is a little bit off. So if you get close to the ground, you'll notice they are actually hovering above the ground slightly. Now, if you're just playing the game, you might not notice this too much. But again, if you're kind of at this level, you will. So what we're going to do is go in and for this, we want to change the collision on the actual rain particle itself. So we'll go back to collision on our fountain. Here, we just want to decrease the particle radius scale. So I'm going to change this to 0.5 to start with. And we'll minimize this, see what it looks like. So you'll notice again, that's slightly better. However, I want to get it a bit smaller. So let's say 0.03. And again, that looks a lot better. That's basically on the ground there. It is still hovering above slightly, but it's not really notable to the player. Now, the reason why I'm not getting it really small and I'm being careful with it is because you'll notice this happens. If you get it too small, if you make the radius scale too small, it does mess with the collision a bit too much and therefore it can then start falling through the roof, which we obviously don't want. So we'll then just want to increase this a little bit more to let's say 0.05. Or actually I might just go with 0.1 and see what that looks like. So you'll notice now hardly any of them are going through, but some still are, but this still looks good. So I'll increase it a bit more. And again, this is just where you get it to look good for how you want. So I might go with 0.3, see what that's like. You can't really tell it's hovering unless you get right up close to it on this level, which the player shouldn't really be doing. And under here, it's not falling through at all. There was one there as I said it, but really it's not very noticeable. And again, I imagine at that point then, 0.35 would probably fix that. So as you'll notice, a lot of this is just trial and error, finding the perfect values for you and what you want. So this now looks perfect and works great for us. Again, the particles are hitting the floor where the rain is colliding. So I think that'd be it for this video. It's redundant everything we want to do. We've set it up so now our rain particle, when it hits the floor, is having a little splashback effect, as you can see here. And the collision still works, so it is not going through a roof, as you can see here. It's landing on a wall, it's not going through the floor, all that good stuff which we want and set up in the last video. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.